What is going on, everybody? Hello? Honey, I haven't been on this new face so long. I have been on Instagram, Basketball Wives, uh, what else? Uh, Black Ink Who Chicago, and so many other things. But uh, people have been telling me about this show posed on FX, or posed. Uh, present tense on FX and I you know I don't do reviews on scripted shows because I mean it's scripted what the hell am I gonna review you get reactions and things but um got to say that it's a beautiful day to be gay in the neighborhood hello um it is an amazing show I am tr like Ryan Murphy honey uh, uh, brava to you okay brava bitch I mean brava because it's it's really amazing. It's it's really a great show. Um, we're following Blanca Evangelista. Honey. She's got the house of Evangelista. She has a uh, torn away against house abundance. And let me tell you something. The thing I'm loving about this show is that it is really speaking to the the the, the culture of what houses mean and where houses come from and why houses even uh, uh, began in the first place. Houses, balls, the children, gay mothers and fathers. Um, it's just really a great insight to, to gay culture. If you are in the gay community, if you are part of the gay community, uh, the LGBTQ+, plus, A+, plus, ABC, Elemental P, uh, community, honey, because there's too many letters, okay? It's just too many letters. I mean, I, I had to get used to saying LGBTQ. Now I got to say LGBTQA+, because it's too many letters. But if you're in the community, um, you know, there's a, everybody is looking for a place to belong. Everybody's looking for uh, somewhere that they can go to say, oh my God, that looks like me. That sounds like me. That feels like me. Let me be a part of that. And in the, I know that we are still rights and for so many things to occur in the gay community, um, in the nation. But you have got to admit that the strides that media has made um, in regards to gay film, to say I, two episodes in to the season pose has has captured my heart honey okay um let's get let me go into this list here we have the main cast we have even peters he plays a uh, stan bows that's pat's little husband he works at trump towers honey and he like chicks with the dicks okay uh kate was petty by stan's wife james vanderbeek he plays matt bromley um and he's basically like the kingpin boss like he's the the, the big ups um then we have mj rodriguez as blanca rodriguez or as we say blanca evangelista okay and that um she's an hiv positive trans woman who is the new mother of house evangelista now, Evangel Miss Blanca, she came from House Abundance, and she wasn't getting along with Miss um, Electra Abundance, played by Dominic J. And so she said, "Look here, bitch! I'm about to run over here to the left, grab my chat, and I'm gonna go create my own house, okay, or part uh, condo." Uh um, mansion or whatever it is she living in. I'm gonna create my own. Thank you so much. And Electra was, I gave you an opportunity. I scraped you up from the bottom of the barrel, bitch. I took you at the want of the litter and I made you, gave you somewhere to live. Put food in your belly and clothes on your back and you gonna turn away from mother like this. <laughs> and Blanca was like, bitch, yes, I am. And so, <laughs> and so she goes out and she finds um, this little boy, what's his name? Uh, uh, Damon Richards, uh, 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 who's played by Ryan Jamal. This dancer, honey, who got kicked out of his house. His daddy was beating the shit out of him uh, because he told him he was gay and he was a dancer. His father was like, no, we ain't gonna have no sissiness up in this house. Ain't no dancers in this house. Ain't no authentry going on. And uh, poor little Damon was like, uh, well, I'm sorry, father, but I, I'm gay and I love to ballet and I love to uh, chasse and I love to tondu. And so uh, he commenced to be on his ass and to drug his ass from to, from his bedroom to the front of the door he went his mother came right behind him had his shack in her hand threw it on the floor slapped the shit out of him and said you're on your own i can't believe you brought this filth into my house and so he's sleeping on park benches honey and and so by way of just fate and destiny he comes in contact with blanca who's on her mission to find some children to add to her house honey because she's trying to build an empire okay she's trying to build a legacy 
And we can't be mad at her for that. And so she picks him up um, and she picks up a, a nunjo, uh who's a little poppy evangelista um, and as can is it candy angelica ross there it is as as candy abundance uh no that's abundance who the hell is evangel i'm looking at this here uh what, what am i looking at here uh there it is angel evangelista she's a prostitute and a former house of house of abundance as well and she leaves to join a block house and she uh, has a love interest in Stan. Stan is played by Evan Peters. You might know him from uh, American Horror Story. And like I said, he likes him some chicks with dicks. So he likes Angel because she ain't had the snip yet. And so um, Angel joins she, she finds some other little cute little Latin boy to join her little house. And then she got her little part because she got him from Goodwill but it's alright. She is creating it on her own by herself. And she is doing it. She's winning trophies, honey. She uh, even won, uh, uh, what was it? She walked against a, a, a former mother and uh, be her mother. Electro abundance is bitter. Okay, I'm impressed. Like a good old fashioned basil and chicken panini, okay? Um, at the end of the day, I mean, this is really just an amazing show. I love the show. I'm here for the show. And I will definitely continue watching. Um, and I, what do you uh, have going on in your lives uh, that you uh, feel like you need to uh, to pose about, honey? Because that's really what the show I feel. It's about finding who you are, being comfortable in who you are, and finding your way, finding your path um, to make sure that you get to where it is that you want to get to in life. And so, I, brother, the evangelist, I look forward to the ups and to the downs because you know it's going to be some downs. You know, Blanca and her house going to fall flat on their face at some point in this series. Um, and uh, ooh, Electra, the house of abundance, honey, they're going to come. They're going to come for you, honey. They're going to come good and for you. They're going to be ooh. They're going to throw the whole tree, honey. You're going to have so many shade, uh, so much shade thrown at your ass, and it just daggers to your back so you might want to watch out bitch um but i will be here watching it um like i said i generally will don't do uh, I don't review scripted shows because I just feel like they're scripted. So what we want to happen, what we what we wish would happen, is it, scripted. So whether it happens or not is is beyond us. It's already done. It's not like reality where you just you know you can see it coming and you know you're like you can you have a you have a, a opinion about it because it's some in real time type stuff. You understand? But I had to come do a video on Pose because. It is just really an incredible series, an incredible series. The writing is incredible. The, the acting is incredible. And I have to say, when I first heard about Pose, I thought Pose was going to be a reality TV show because I hadn't heard the synopsis. I hadn't read up on the synopsis of the, of the plot line for the show. And I thought it was going to be um, a show, a, a reality TV show showing, you know, trans LGBTQA plus members of the community kind of in fashion, in modeling and, and kind of in the business. So I really was shocked to, to, to find that it was scripted. I said, well, come on, Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, it was just so it was that good. You felt it in your shot top plus. Supreme over by your kidneys. Yes, Shabak. Um, but I'm gonna go for the gym to pose on FX. Okay, that's FX, A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, skip all the way to X before you get to the Y and the Z. Um, pose, P O S E, um, on FX. Make sure you uh look that up. Let me see. Does it tell? Does it tell? Okay, when when does it air? Um, I know that it's on FX. So it looks like uh, Sundays. Sundays at 9. Hallelujah, praise God. So if you got FX on your on your cable channels uh, or you got some type of fangled uh, website to go to on your computer, 9 o'clock on Sundays on channel FX, on, on FX Network, it's called Pose. Make sure you check it out, honey, especially if you are in the community. Let's support good works of art coming from us. I mean, it's, it's just really a beautiful day to be in the neighborhood. All right, peace, love, and all. <laughs> I got that from my girl, Miss Speed TV. Hey, Miss B! Um, but make sure that you are in the pursuit of love, life, and fabulosity, honey, because... It's a doggy dog world out here sometimes, and you got to look at yourself in the mirror and pick your own self up, okay? You got to encourage yourself. Come on, Donald Lawrence. Hallelujah. Praise God on a Sunday. 
All right, I'm out of here. Smooches. If you want to follow me, you can follow me on all social media. That's Twitter, Snapchat, uh, Facebook, and Instagram at Daniel J. That info is in the uh, description below. And make sure, uh, tell me what you think. Are you watching polls? What do you think about the first two episodes, honey? What, what, what's going on in your life? Like, are you with House of Evangelista? Are you for House of Abundance? Let me know in the comments down below, bitch, because I really do want to know. Okay, how the hell do I stop this thing? Uh, oh, I guess I pressed the X, huh?